Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous video, I showed you how to create this design. Now, this is a design for displaying the latest posts of your website over here. And right now we have just hard coded this data. So all this image and all these titles and all those things are coming from this uh, HTML file. In this video, I'll show you how to add this to your blogger website. And uh, here we can see that this is our blogger homepage and I have customized this homepage to look like this. And I also have a video on how to customize the blogger homepage and make it look like this. You can find the link in the description of this video. Now here after this section, we're going to add the list of blog posts. So let's get started. Right here, I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and let's go over here to pages. And here we have created this page called home. And we are redirecting the visitor to this homepage when someone goes to the actual homepage of our blogger website. So here, let's go to this uh, HTML view. And here we have the code. So let's scroll down and uh, let's go to the end of the CTA section, which is this one right here. And let's go to the end. And after this section, we will add the code for the blog section. So we have already written the code over here. And uh, let's go to the HTML file and let's copy the code from here and uh, let's paste it in our blogger website. So let's copy from this line of code till the end of the section. And uh, let's paste it right here. And let's also paste the CSS. So let's scroll up. And here we have the CSS. So let's go to the end and let's go back and uh, let's copy the CSS from the styler CSS file. So let's copy it from this line of code till the end and let's paste it right here. And we also have some CSS for the mobile version. So let's copy this as well and let's paste it in the media query. So here we have the media query. So let's paste the CSS over here and now let's go ahead and update. And let's go back to our page and let's refresh this page. And here we can see that we have the latest blog post section and we have two posts displayed over here. Now these are dummy content. Now we need to get the real content from our blogger website. So if you go to this uh, blog menu and here we are going to the blogger homepage forward slash index.html and here you can find the list of all your blog posts and here we have these two blog posts over here. So we're going to display these two blog posts in our homepage right here. And for the first one, we don't have any thumbnail. So we're going to see how to display a placeholder image in place of the thumbnail as well. So let's do that. Let's go back to our page and uh, we're going to add some JavaScript for that. So let's scroll down. And uh, here, the first thing we need to do is we need to get the details of our blog posts. And for that, you can just go ahead and type script. And let's close the script tag over here. And here we need to type SRC equals. And here you need to type forward slash feeds, forward slash posts, forward slash summary, question mark, alt equals, JSON in script, ampersand, and you need to add a callback. So let's type callback. And you need to add a function name over here. So we're going to create a function called handle latest posts. And let's add one more param over here and let's type max results and we're going to just get two of the latest posts. So I'll just type two over here. Now what this will do is when we load the page, uh, it will get this data and it will call this function called the handle latest posts. So let's go ahead and create a function over here. So just type const handle latest posts and we're going to get some data in this function and I'll just call it posts and uh, now let's go ahead and type console.log and let's see what data we are getting so let's type console.log and i'll just type posts data and here let's type posts which is the data that we're getting from here and uh, let's click on update and let's go back to our home page and i'll just uh, open the console and here we can see we have the post data and if I open this, we have this feed and if I open the feed, we have the entry and in the entry we have the two posts. So if we open the first one, we can see that 
we have this title of how to make your life easy with chat gpt and if you go to our list of posts this is the latest post and then if you go back and if you take a look at the second post so let's open the second post and here we can see for that we have this title of best image generation tools out there and here we can see that we have the second title over here so we are getting the details of both the latest posts over here now the only thing we need to do is we need to display them inside our web page in place of these two posts over here so let's go back to our code and uh, for displaying this i'll just create a function and i will just call the function generate latest posts and we'll just pass the data so if you go back to our console here we can see that everything we need is inside feed entry so i'll just pass feed entry to this function so I'll just type posts dot feed dot entry and now let's create this function so let's type const generate latest posts here for the post i'll just call it posts and let's create an arrow function right here right now what we need to do is we need to loop through all the posts so let's type posts dot for each and for each of the post i'll just call it post and let's create an arrow function over here right now let's go ahead and get the details and store it so let's type const and uh, let's type title and if you go back to this console here we can see that the title is inside title and in that we have dollar symbol t so if you go to post title dollar symbol t we have the title so let's go back and here let's type post because that's what we are calling it over here dot title dot dollar symbol t and then we need to have the thumbnail so let's type const thumbnail src equals and let's go back to the console and uh, here we can see for the first post we don't have any thumbnail so let's go to the second post and here for the thumbnail we have this uh, media dollar symbol thumbnail and in that we have the url so let's get this so here i just type post dot media dollar symbol thumbnail dot url and this is going to be the thumbnail now let's go back over here and let's open this link of this thumbnail so i'll just open this link now here we can see when we open it in the browser the size of the thumbnail is too small and if you take a look at this url here we can see that we have this s72 and this is the resolution of this image so if we change this to something else so for example if i just change this to s300 now we can see we have a bigger thumbnail so what we need to do is when we store it inside this constant we also need to change s72 to s300 so here let's type dot replace and here for the first argument let's type forward slash s72 and for the second argument let's type forward slash s300 and this will store the larger thumbnail to this constant now we also need to see whether the thumbnail is available and if it is not available then we need to display a placeholder thumbnail so for that let's type post dot media dollar symbol thumbnail question mark now this is basically a shortcut for if conditions now what we are doing over here is that we are checking whether the posts dot media underscore thumbnail is available and if it is available then we're going to store this data to this const thumbnail src and if it is not available then uh, let's add a colon over here and whatever we add over here will be stored inside this thumbnail src so let's go ahead and create a constant and i'll just call it default thumbnail and let's go ahead and upload an image to cloudinary and i'll just get the link and paste it over here all right so here i'm in cloudinary.com and you can just create a free account and uh, log into the account and go to media library and you'll find this screen and let's go to folders and uh, here we can see that we have already uploaded some images and we are getting the links of these images and we are displaying them over here in this website so all these images are coming from cloudinary and i have shown you how to do all of that in the previous video so you can go ahead and check that out right now let's go ahead and upload a thumbnail placeholder so let's go over here to upload and let's add the image over here and here i have this image called thumbnail placeholder so i'll just drag it over here 
so here we have the image now let's go ahead and get the link of this image so you can just click on copy url and now let's go back and paste it over here so just add it inside single quotes now what will happen is that if we have a thumbnail then we're going to display the thumbnail of the post and if you don't have the thumbnail then we'll just display this default thumbnail so i just copy it and paste it over here right now the next thing we need to have is uh, this uh, summary so let's create a const and i'll just name it summary and uh, let's go back to the console and let's see where we have the summary displayed so here we have this summary and in that we have dollar symbol t so let's type post dot summary dot dollar symbol t and then lastly we need to get the link of the post so if you open this link here we can see that at the end which is the last index is the link so in that we have the href and there we have the link so let's go ahead and type const link equals and let's tap post dot link and this is an array and we need to get the last element so here we can see the last element has the link so for that you can just type post dot link dot length minus one and this will get the index of the last element and in that we have href so let's type dot href and this will give us the link of the post Right now let's go ahead and console.log these details and let's see whether we are getting all the details correctly. So I'll just tap console.log title title and console.log thumbnail src and let's type thumbnail src and then we have console.log summary summary and then let's type console.log link link and now let's go ahead and delete this console.log and let's update this and let's see whether we are getting these details so let's click on update and let's go back to our page and let's refresh this page and here we have an error so let's see what's the error and uh, here we have the semicolon so we shouldn't have the semicolon let's go back and uh, let's remove the semicolon from here and all of this should be inside this for each so this should not be here so let's cut this and uh, paste it down here and uh, i think now this should work all right let's go ahead and click on update and let's go back to our home page and let's refresh this page and now we can see we have these details over here and uh, we have the title we have the thumbnail let's open this and uh, we have the placeholder thumbnail over here for the first post and then we have the summary and then we have the link let's open this and we can see that the post is being opened and then we have the next title and we have this thumbnail let's open this and here we have this uh, larger thumbnail and then we have the link let's open the link and the post is being opened so all the details are being fetched correctly now the last thing we need to do is we just need to add these details into this design so let's do that so for that let's go back to our code and uh, let's go ahead and get the html from our design so let's go to our html and uh, here we can see we have all this html inside this division with the class of post so let's copy all the html inside this post division and let's go back and uh, let's create a const and let's call it html and let's add backticks and I'll just add the HTML code inside here. And now here we can simply go ahead and uh, replace these uh, details. So here for the link, let's type dollar symbol curly braces. And here we can add the variable name. So it is called link. So I'll just type link over here. And then for the image, let's change this SRC. And here let's type dollar symbol curly braces. And uh, we have called it thumbnail SRC. So let's tap thumbnail src and then we have the link over here as well so let's change this to dollar symbol curly braces link and then we have the title so let's change this to dollar symbol curly braces title and then we have the summary so i'll just cut this and let's tap dollar symbol curly braces summary and then lastly we have the link over here as well so let's type dollar symbol curly braces link so with that our html has been updated 
Now let's go ahead and add this HTML to this division with the class of post. So first of all, we need to create this division. So let's go ahead and type const post div equals document dot create element. And we need to create a div. And we also need to add a class. So we need to add a class of post. So let's type post div dot class list dot add post. Right now let's go ahead and add this HTML to the post div. So let's type post div dot inner HTML equals HTML. And then lastly we need to add this post div to the container division which is uh, this division with the class of latest posts list. So first of all let's go ahead and reference this. So here I'll just type const latest posts list equals document dot query selector and here let's type blog latest posts link and let's scroll down and uh, here let's type latest posts link dot append child and let's add the post div over here and now this should work so let's go ahead and update this and let's go back to our home page and let's refresh this page and here we have this error latest post link is not defined so this should not be link this should be list so here let's change this to list and let's scroll up and let's see whether everything is all right over here and here also we need to change this to list Right now let's go ahead and update this and let's go back to our home page and let's refresh this page and now we don't have any errors and if you scroll down we have the details of the post displayed over here and we also have the thumbnail displayed but the previous posts are also displayed over here so for that let's go back to our code and uh, i just delete all these console.logs from here and let's go back to the html and here in this post section I'll just delete all this HTML so let's delete all of this from here and we'll just keep this container division which is latest post list and let's click on update and let's go back to our home page and uh, let's refresh this page and now we can see that we just have these two blog posts over here and uh, if I click on any of these posts we are taken to that post and here we have the home page and let's open this post right here let's click on this thumbnail and we are taken to that post so everything is working all right so that's basically how you can display your latest post over here in this custom blogger home page and that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.